hello viewers welcome back to another section of my tutorial and in this video we're going to solve and apply electricity problem this is a circuit problem with a complex network of resistors for us to find the effective resistance between a and b please watch the video to the end because don't skip any part it's very necessary kindly subscribe to support okay so let's delve into the question now let's see something this is a bridge circuit but we have other resistors attached to this bridge circuit now what we're going to do is first of all we are going to take the ends we can see that this place and this place we can traverse through them without passing through any other elements and again there is a node in between them hence they are in parallel the same applies to this and this as well as this and this and this and this so now let's see how we're going to solve this problem by removing all these excess from there so let's see so we know that 4 and 4 are in parallel so we write our 4 kilo ohms in parallel with 4 kilo ohms that is first one 3 kilo ohms in parallel with 6 kilo ohms then we have 40 kilo ohms here 40 kilo ohms in parallel with 10 kilo ohms then finally we have 2 kilo ohms in parallel with 2 kilo ohms so if here we're going to get 4 times 4 over 4 plus 4 and that is going to give me 8 over 16 over 8 that is equal to 2 kilo ohms this place is going to give me 3 times 6 on 3 plus 6 giving me 18 or 9 the answer is equal to 2 kilo ohms 40 kilo ohms here will multiply by 10 kilo ohms all over 40 kilo ohms plus 10 kilo ohms don't worry if the units I have brought it doesn't change anything that's why I, when you bring a unit for one you bring all it doesn't change anything it's going to give me 400 over 50 kilo ohms and kilo ohms and other ones will go away this will cancel and you left with 8 kilo ohms Finally, 2 and 2, that will give me 2 times 2 over 2 plus 2. And this is equal to 1 kilo ohms. So that is 4 over 4, 1. So let me redraw my circuit. I'm going to compress every, all these corners are compressed to a single thing. So I'll be left with this, something like this. Watch carefully. I'll have this place, this place, then down here. I'll have my A here and my B here as well as my C and D. Here will be my D, here will be my C. So at this point, I had the 4 and 4, I had 2 kilo ohm. 2 kilo ohm here. This place, there and says I had 2 kilo ohm. Then this place, 2 2, I had 1 kilo ohm. This place, I had 8 kilo ohm. At this point, that we've compressed we are now having a settled comp bridge circuit so at this point we have to find a resistance in between a and b so how do we go about it so let's see something here we have this point as a this as b we are going to open it up so we're going to have our a somewhere here with it's not here we're going to have our b somewhere here like this so we have to draw everything within this and how do we do that we know that from this a we assume that this point is a we know that from this a to the c let's say c we have two kilo ohms so we will move up like this and we indicate here as c the note c once you get note c we know that from c to the b is here and that is giving us eight kilo ohms 8 kilo ohms here was 2 kilo ohms then now let's see from this place i'm going to get from a to the d so that will be around here let's say here d and that is giving me 2 kilo ohm then from here it will move straight that is from d to b d to b is 1 kilo ohm like this 1 kilo ohm 
So once you get this, you are not done. Let me from C to D. From C to D, there is nothing there. So you draw your straight short circuit. So once you get something like this, the next thing is to simplify this mini circuit you've got. We can see that this and this, you can pass through them without passing through any other thing. Hence, this and this are in parallel. Simplifying that, what do I get? I'm going to get two. When we simplify two resistors of the same magnitude in parallel, we get half of it. So that will give me one kilo ohm. So I'm going to have all these parts, including from here to here. Let's see. Here is my A. From here to here, let me indicate only one kilo ohm. That is my parallel connection. So everything here will go away, and I'll be left with my 8 kilo ohm coming down to be this will also come here to be like this what I did was this whole thing these two things were in parallel so I broke it down and I had only one single resistor so it removes this away then once I get a 1 kilo ohm I just move straight to the other part but let's see something we could see that at this point, our 8 kilo ohm here and our 1 kilo ohm here. You can see that this node here, from here, you can see that this and this are also in parallel. So we could have also combined it together before proceeding. So let's ignore what I've drawn and also do for this side as well, then you do for this side. So 8 and 1 are now in parallel. Assuming I didn't write it, let me clean 1. And I clean this, so I'm going to have 8 times 1 over 8 plus 1. That gives me 8 over 9. So, meaning I'm going to have 8 over 9, let's say 8 over 9 kilo ohms, like this. So, at this point, I'm having two different resistors. Let me draw it once again. So, all the upper parts will go like this. I'm having 1 kilo ohm, 8 over 9 kilo ohm, my B and my A. So I just add them, 1 plus 8 over 9, and that is giving me 17 over 9 kilo ohm. So this is the effective resistance between A and B. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.